Pemikiran si Residen Sedipo Amal lagi di Poso, kalau Panda pun ada So let's start um, Again, I'm Dr. Butch Juliana I'm your medical and product consultant I'm a diplomat for the Philippine Academy of Family Physicians And people, I was once a professor in the College of Medicine and Nursing for 12 years Before I became a full-time employee of our company in Global I also happen to be the author of our book of the 24 7 and so the time being people, I'm part of the marketing team, and of course you're part of the consultant. Now people, once a doctor is in front of you, definitely we're talking about health. Let me ask you, is health well, yes or no? Yes! For us to be healthy, okay, we need to do something with our body. Many things should be changed for you to be able to prevent diseases from happening inside your body. Now, before we further continue, I would like you to ask a favor, people. Can I ask you a simple favor, guys? Yes! Can you please smile? <laughs> Why? Kasi si Kuya Boy nagpatawa na kanina. Ako naman nagdalang intro. O, iba sa inyo hanggang ngayon, seryoso pa rin ang buhat. Ang dating talaga yung pang bolirik pa rin. So, guys, ito po. Look at the picture. I'm sure you love this one. Okay? Yeah. Wow. That is the proper way to smile in your company. Are they beautiful guys? Yes! Are they cute? Yes! Mga ko yan. Mga anak ko yan. Mga anak ko yan. Now, pwede nito smile, okay? I guess I'm here still wondering, especially for the first timers, why is it named global? Okay? We speakers usually love our audience to smile and laugh. This is the main reason why. I would like to treat this one people, and I was able to try this in the internet, which clearly states the reason why we need to smile. Guys, can you please read it now? Sometimes your joy is the source of your smile. But sometimes your smile can be the source of your joy. Tama ba yan? Yes! Ito sabi nga po, no? If you would like to start your day right, the first thing you have to do is to smile. Okay? Why? Para maging masaya yung pakiramdam mo. Or vice versa. Okay? Kailangan maging masaya ka muna para gumiti ka. Ngayon, as a doctor people, it was clearly stated, that every time we smile, okay, our brain are being stimulated to produce feel-good hormones, which you term as endorphins and serotonins. If those hormones will circulate your body, people, they will try to improve the systems of our body, including the immune system. Guys, once we improve the function of the immune system, we can be able to prevent diseases from happening inside the body. So the question is, people, and then what time will be yes or no? Yes! So, tingnan ko lang po, effective ha? For the second time again, can you please smile? Can you please smile? Sorry. Nakala po tayo, ngayon. So, hindi po nila, no? Welcome to our company in global. Pakipalakpan nga po muling sila natin. We've been in the market for the past 8 years, people. We've been in the market for the past 8 years. And, tama yung sinabi ko yung boy, we have created more than 1,000 million years. At sa ngayon po, we now have a million distributors worldwide in global. Why are we successful? It's mainly because of the three board of directors, the young owners of the company. At the center, is also a doctor, also a family med consultant, our chief executive officer, our visionary president, Dr. Ed Kamanto. Guys, on your left is our chief finance officer, the mentor of all mentors, Engineer Francis and people at the right is our Chief Marketing Officer, Mr. Excitement, a physical therapist with a profession, Sir John Esperi. So people, a doctor, a physical therapist, and an engineer. Tanong po, maganda ba ang kapalingin ko ba? Yes or no? Yes! Or mga pa for our owners to come to the front of the room. To continue, we have three major partners. The first is Major Swing. It's a billion dollar company. It's one of the so-called pioneers in herbal medicines in the USA and GMP certified with halal and kosher certified products. Next, DSM, a multi-billion euro company people. One of the largest supplier of raw ingredients of nutrition in the world. And, of course, there's a the manufacturer of Resvita and Lycopene, the components of Vida. Third will be AMS Life Science Company Limited where, of course, in Japan, a multi-billion company, the manufacturer of perfect wine. So people, sipin nyo po, maganda ba mga kakayap ng in-global? Yes or no? Yes! Okay, palapakan nga po ng mga kakayap. Now, the big question still is, why the need for a book? 
So you guys already mentioned earlier that we have a book, okay? The title is Complete 24-7 Natural Healers. Now, bakit do po kailangan? Why do we need to have a book? Ipot. Because of product knowledge. Okay. Guys, <clears throat> the road to knowledge begins with the turn of the page. If you have the book, please read the book. 350 pages, all of the components of our products are clearly written in the book. Special people, the medical studies done, okay, for each of the components of this product. Now, if I would ask you people, masarap po ba magkaroon ng mga members, the doctors, yes or no? Yes! Especially Dr. Goko, yes or no? Yes! Siyempre po, why? Because of, natin yung kinatawag natin na uh, authority in giving the products of the company. Okay? Now, if you would like to convince us doctors to be part of your group, first and foremost, you must have a what? A grasp on your products. And for you to be able to do that, people, you must be able to read the book. Okay? Why? So that every time you ask the questions, you can easily answer back the questions we throw at you. Don't tell me, and then I'm going to say yes or no. Yes! Next. These are the things that you can be able to read in our book. The different body systems, all about free radicals, extensive discussion of free radicals, the antioxidants, the basic nutrition, rather components of course, health benefits. Sa ngayon po, this is not in such a way that you will be able to appreciate what is inside that book. And the question now is people, are you ready for the intensive product demo, yes or no? Yes! So let's start guys. Levels of structural organization. We humans are made up of atoms. Let's talk about atoms, guys. A very good example will be the oxygen. It's the smallest particle on the face of the earth. Once you combine these atoms, people, they will form molecules. And the best possible example will be water, H2O. Now, these molecules are said to be the ones that will make up a cell. The smallest functional unit of the body. Once you combine the cells, they will form the tissues. A good example will list wood muscle tissue. And these tissues then will form the organs. Okay? And finally, people, they will form the different systems of the body, like our cardiovascular system, and that will end up to what? Human organism. So again, people, humans are made up of 11 systems, composed of organs, comprised of tissues, Yung last word for people, gusto ko pa yung sigawin natin. What do you call this one? Cells. Again, the smallest functional unit of the body. A good picture of the cell. If that is the cell, guys, the one covering the cell is the cell membrane. We have different organelles, but the ones I would like to mention here will be the nucleus. Why? Because inside the nucleus is where you can see, or where you can find, the so-called deoxyribonucleic acid or DNA. DNA. Okay, people, can you just repeat it, guys? DNA. DNA. No? Okay, let's talk about the DNA. What is the importance of the DNA, people? Let's put it It is the one that carries your genetic material. The one you're trying to share to your kids will be your DNA. Now, let me ask you, who amongst you people in this room already have kids? Raise your hands, please. The question is, can you tell me how to do it? Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, so, people again. Kung mukha mo man o hindi anak mo, still, half kayo na kasama mo. You will be sharing 23 chromosomes to your kids. Okay? And of course, because of your DNA structure. Now, another function of the DNA is people is, it is the one that will carry the code for the so-called protein production. Okay? The big question is, do we need protein? Yes or no? Yes. What are the so-called protein parts in our body? Number one will be the muscle. What is the function of the muscle? For movements. Second will be the enzymes for metabolism. Third will be the hemoglobin that carries oxygen. And finally, people, one of the most important will still be this one. Can you please read it out? Antibodies or immunoglobulins. Now, people, what then is the function of the antibodies? They will help okay, our body get rid of microorganisms like bacteria, like viruses, and of course, like fungi. And they will also help try to kill cancer cells in our body. 
if I will ask you people, do we have cancer cells in our body, yes or no? Yes! And there will be no exemption. Okay? What's needed is for your body to produce enough level of antibodies for you to be able to kill the cancer cells inside your body. You have to be, I would like you to repeat this word, immunocompetent. Can you please read it loud? I'll say it loud. Immunocompetent. Now, let's continue people. But the problem is, there are so many factors that can affect a human health. What will you do first? Improper diet. And can you look at the one beside you? <laughs> and if you think his, his or her body looks like this, so that will be the first factor. Okay, and if you're fond of eating burger, donuts, french fries, and one or the other, sooner or later, your body will look like this. And I'm sure you're quite familiar with the food pyramid, people. If I were to ask you guys, if that is the food pyramid, which do you think is needed more by the body? The ones above, at the middle, or the ones below? Below. Below. Okay, why? Because it is the one that will try to give you proper nutrients, vitamins, minerals, and even fibers and water to your body. And that, of course, we're talking about what? Fruits and vegetables. I would like to give an emphasis on this because the ones recommended by World Health Organization is for you to eat five fruits and vegetables every day. And we're talking about what? Medium-sized fruits and vegetables. But in reality, the problem is, you're not fond of eating fruits and vegetables. What you're fond of eating every day is the what? The so-called glycemic food. Are you fond of drinking soft drinks? Yes. Do you like to eat french fries? Yes. Chocolates? Yes. Yeah, problem. So you know what I mean, it wasn't for. Those are the, the food or stuff that we should try to prevent from eating every day. But again, as I said, nga po, yun yung masarap kainin. Okay? Next. Sedentary lifestyle. Look at this one. The word is slouch. Again, can you please say it loud? Slouch. Okay. If I will try to look at you people, yung di ba sa inyo ang posisyon malapit-lapit na nyo? <laughs> When I started this person, uh, IPV, yung di ba sa inyo diretso po eh? Pero, as meals pass by, hindi-hindi na kayo. Why? And even the first structure is trying to change. Why? Because of the soul slouch position. Guys, I will advise you for the next few hours to please sit straight. Why? Because sooner or later people, you will be damaging your back. Okay, and, sabi nga po lang dito, baka magkaragay mo na tayo ng osteoarthritis later on. Okay? Now, this is what we need to do. And that is exercise. Do we need exercise, yes or no? Yes! But the question is, how often per week? The ones required by those so-called enthusiasts in exercise is that we must be able to do it twice a week, at least. And every time you exercise people, at least you must spend approximately 30 minutes per exercise. If I will ask you, who amongst you can do this so-called twice a week of exercise? Can I see at least who can sleep on? Patay. <laughs> so, only then we're able to raise their hands. We need to say, you need to exercise. So people, another factor that will affect your health. Next. This is our main topic, the environment. The why? We would like you to shout, to shout these words, people. So, what are the we told you about, last thing you People, what do you call this one? Free radicals. What are these so-called free radicals? Look at this. Okay. Every time we talk about the free radicals, let's begin with the first with the atom. Every time we talk about the atom, people, there are three major components. The neutrons and the protons, the ones in inside, are at the center, and the ones trying to rotate will be the electrons. Now, in all honesty, the oxygen atom is said to be comprised of eight electrons. Okay? And they are said to be paired electrons. Now, the problem is, once we make use of oxygen plus the nutrients as a source of energy to oxidation, one electron is being removed. 
and that we need the information of what? Free radicals. Or the other word is, we like to treat this one, oxidants. Can you please say it, guys? Oxidants. Now, people, what if it becomes an unpaired electron? Unpaired. <clears throat> what will happen here? It will become very unstable and it's be highly reactive. Guys, these are the possible things that can damage your body. Hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide, maybe hydrogen peroxide. Every time we talk about smoking, okay? Remember, guys, that in a stick of cigarette, it contains one million free radicals. Even if you don't know, you know? What if you're consuming one pack per day? So it only is one thing you are consuming, 20 million free radicals per day. Okay? What else? Skin is what? Insufficient supply of blood to your tissues, and even ordinary drugs, people, can cause harm to our body. Now, we have this sort of preventive antioxidants present in your body, but the problem is, what if the amount of free radicals that enter your body is so high, wherein you cannot be able to control them? And there will be a formation of free radicals. We have this called radical scavengers. Why? We're trying to prevent these free radicals from damaging the body. Like your light pizza fats, your proteins, and of course, even your sugar carbohydrates. But again, people, if you can be able to control them, then it will propagate. And sooner or later, people, it will not cause damage to your body that can lead to what? Different kinds of diseases, cancer formation, and even early aging process. Guys, by simply looking at this diagram, the question is, na katakot ba ang free radicals? Yes or no? Yes! So, let's try to move on this people. Sabi na ito, do, okay. How are free radicals formed? First will be radiation. A simple warning to each and everyone, please, try to avoid sunlight. Too much exposure to sunlight. At around 11 o'clock to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. What you're going to get will be what? UV radiation. And that can cause damage to your skin or even cancer cells. Or should I say, cancer of the skin. Next, X-ray, television, cathode ray tube from television also, and even halogen lights. Guys, next, microwave. For a good example, build your cell phone. If you are fond of using your cell phone, once you use your cell phone, it took you around 30 minutes to one hour. Sabi nga ba natin, tele babad. Okay, every time you use your cell phone, people, as you remove your cell phone, what is the usual color of, the, of your ear, people? It turns red. Sabi nga po natin, kung ito na mumula na taga, if you will use it for approximately 30 minutes to 1 hour per day, it can cause some forms of insomnia. That's just simply using the cell phone. But what if your place is near the cell site? Baka sabi mo ito, ang nakasas signal. Pero yung signal nito sa ato po, kalagay ko, malakas din po. What else, guys? Okay, let's continue. Chemicals. 